It's a Yankee shirt? You got your name on it. I look! A Yankee flag! Yeah, it's a Yankee flag. <laughs> What's up, Kit? Hey. <laughs> What's up, Julie? Hi. This is this is Julio. This is this is good. This is your new friend. Jordan. That's Jordan. Yeah, I met Julio on Sunday, and I met uh, Melissa on, on Saturday, and I, I met Julio's father on Saturday. And uh, I told him, you know, about you guys, and they want to donate that truck right there to their mom, so you guys can. And it has a, it has a, look, it has like a DVD and stuff in the back so you can, so you can watch the movies and stuff like that. You know, you and Julie. What do you say? Thank you. Thank, what do you thank say you. to them? Thank you, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> so, like, you still want to play football? Oh, wait, I wait. I'll have to, oh, I'm going to oh, send a video thank back. You, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want, so, you want to, so, you going to go check it out? Yes. What's the first movie you gonna watch? <laughs> Project Swag. <laughs> Actually, you cannot guess what happened. I'm going to Vegas to meet the Jaguars and Super Crew. I'm not joking. These people right here, and I have a new truck. It's amazing, Ashley. When I first discovered his tumor, I took him to his doctor and his doctor told me that it was nothing. I noticed a lump on Jordan's leg and his inner right thigh and it was weird because I wasn't like scared at first. It was just hard. It wasn't huge. It was just, you know, something, a cause for concern. So I'm like, well, did a mosquito bite him? And it swelled up because at this time he was only four years old. You know, I was just trying to rack my brain to f remember what he had done that day, the previous day, to see what could have caused him to have this irregular lump on his leg. So I made him an appointment to go to his pediatrician. And when I got there, I showed the pediatrician a lump and you know, said, you know, this doesn't feel right. Something's really off with it. What do you think it is? He told me I worried too much and that it was nothing, that it was just his muscle, and that, um, you know, I'm just basically worrying too much. So I said, Well, if it's just his muscle, why is it just in one leg? He was like, Oh, you know, this is how kids develop kids play different and I'm like well he doesn't just jump around on one leg that this one leg would be brolic and then the other leg would be a normal four-year-old leg but I kind of took his word for it and it's something that I beat myself up about a lot because had I not would things be different I don't know I, I, I don't know um, you kind of trust your doctor, not kind of, you do. Your doctor tells you this is what it is, this is what it is. And that's why he, we opted for the chemo and the radiation. And the radiation just totally twisted him up. Like his, and he was fine actually also. And then I went into early labor with her because of stress. Yeah. And he came up to see me and his dad is carrying him. And I'm like, why, let him walk. He's like, he has no skin on his leg. Talking about he can't walk. He was just walking yesterday. He can't walk. It's like I can't even put underwear on him. He can't wear any of his jeans because and I'm like, why? What are you talking about? Like, why can't he? I'm like, Jordan, what's wrong? Jordan's like, I don't have any skin on my leg. And I'm like, what? It's like, I don't have no skin on the bad leg. And I look, I'm like, let me see. He's like, be careful, mom, it hurts. What do you mean he has no skin? Like two days ago, he was fine. It was black and it was like spots, but it was fine. And then when, when I saw it, it was completely like no skin, like just red meat. From the radiation? Yep. 
but they said it cooks you from the inside out. It's not in paper yet, but those are the two things they're going to do. Did he do radiation or anything? No, they can't do radiation because it's a multiple part. So because it's a multiple part in here, they can't just pinpoint it. Mm -hmm. Radiation is going to they had this thing, I can't remember the name of the procedure, but it was like, um, that we tried for Jordan also, where they implant radiation seeds into various parts of the body. Thank God his cancer was localized. No, but they, it's like radiation seeds that they implant in certain parts of the body and like leave them there and they dissolve themselves. And when his cancer came back the second time we did it, I guess it worked. Right. Mm -hmm. The only thing he that comes up on his scans now, mainly, is because all of the stuff was done to that leg. So he has a lot of um, like erosion in the bone mm -hmm. and holes, and the scar tissue gets into it. So it looks like active tumor. Okay. Oh, So we chilling over here at Fox 5, waiting on to see if we can pitch somebody our story. It's probably like seven something and tired. We just walk like how many blocks? Right, we walk from, from 42nd to 67. If you don't understand, that's a really long walk. And it's, really, it's still really, really early. Let's see what We've Fox Four, four in the morning. So we're grinding before people even start work. She's right here. This is a message from Chris Holden, senior producer at Right This Minute. It's a national television show that I'm about to be on promoting this campaign. We have Haas Sadiq via Skype right this minute. Haas, tell us a little bit more about this project. And I spoke to uh, Lance, so I'm supposed to meet up with Lance today, so because Lance have a connect with, um, I think it's Hot 97, I think. Oh, Angie Martinez? No, um, Enough. DJ Enough. Oh, Enough. Angie Martinez is another one to reach out to. Yeah, no, it's for the kids because what he wants to do too is um, my little cousin, you know, he's a Jita fan, so he wants to get him to meet Derek Jita also. And he wants to, the other little boy, well, that like. Been e that should have been easy because he does the foundation at St. John. Who? Jita. As we go towards our dream, we're going to have to make some changes. As we go towards our dreams, things happen. We're just humans. And with five days left in the campaign, I got sick. Two hospital visits in less than two weeks. I really can't get used to these hospital visits. Are you guys here to take them home? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, I'm alright. Right. I'll get that idea out. Alright. Yeah, I'll call you back, yo. Yeah, I'll call you back. Alright, mom. Yeah, no, you're fine. You feeling good enough to go home? No. No. Right. You can walk out to the car. The main thing is supportive care and management at home is your main thing. Okay. So fluids, rest, it's all supportive care. There's not really too much here that we can mm -hmm. we can do that you can't, you know, follow up and do at home. Right. Okay? 
I blamed myself a long time for the failed campaign. I mean, this was the first time that it was a possibility that I wouldn't be able to help these kids do something epic. That was a tough pill to swallow. That was tough. That was tough. me Jordan I really want to see you guys um this is exciting we heard you like to dance man I don't think a baby yeah that's what we heard I, I seen I, I, I seen you on I seen you on stage dancing so I know you yeah. like to dance that's one that's one I'm enjoying the play the ride the skateboard remember this the next time you see me and I pull up in that or if I pull up in you know swag RV or something like that just know that you're going to be going to Vegas just to meet the Jabberwockies. Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up? We're the Jabberwockies crew, and we're working on something very special with Hasadiq and Project Swag. Uh, they sent in the video on Twitter uh, about a guy named Jordan um, who is battling leg cancer, and uh, his request was he wanted to see the Jabberwockies in Las Vegas. So, with Project Swag, we wanted to do something epic and bring Jordan and his family out to Vegas because uh, we have something very special uh, for him and his family. Uh, we just need your help to get Jordan into Vegas. Click on the link below and you can see how you can help. So, right there. We're going to pass it to the swag man himself right there. to give you more man. information on Jordan and Project Swag. Peace, Jabberwocky's crew. Build uh, a retail unit out of two 20-foot shipping containers that will serve as like a, a way that we can fund these epic experiences with children. And can you guys, you know, I have a couple of specs on, you know, what I think it should look like. I've sketched out some things, and can you guys give me some information on how you guys can help me make this happen? Thanks for watching. Please like subscribe and comment and continue to follow this journey.